What the hell? You all suck guys, Talking Nation here, and we're back for another video. And this one is about this man called Ian Moore 34. Before we move on to that, I would love to say please go check out my last video. It was a ghost pepper challenge. Um it was it was painful, but we got through it, and I'd really appreciate it if you could go and give that a like. Who is this man? Ian Moore, 34. Well, he used to work in Sainsbury's, but now he works on TikTok and YouTube. And a lot of people don't like him. Firstly, as you can see, he's a bit strange. He's doing funny noises, like... I wish I, never, I wish I didn't do that, I wish I didn't do that. He's a very strange man and apparently he's a paedophile. He has um, apparently been caught uh, talking to younger boys, which is very, very bad. And there is footage of him, which I'll show you soon, of him talking to this guy. And it's very... It's very dirty. Um, I'm not sure when he started TikTok. I'm not sure why he started TikTok. But um, his channel's nuts. Um, man, he says some dumb ass stuff. He violates his uh, audience all the time. Uh, he calls them poor. He, he has this Greg sausage roll and he's like, well, I eat what I want because I eat the Greg sausage roll and they can't afford that. They can't afford this sort of shit, you know what I mean? Can't afford it. But it's very clear that you eat what you want, whenever you want, as you said. I'll give you that, that is true. So, here's this disgusting video. Yeah, come and sit on my face, I want you to be the first guy that I've rimmed. I want you to be my first, I want to stick my tongue right up your ass. Lick you out, hear you moaning. I want to push my tongue right up there, hit your G spot. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, I want you to be my first. And the guy was apparently 17 years old. And he's like 40 odd. A bit strange. There's another video of him as well on YouTube that um, I can't use for copyright reasons. Um, of him talking to this other guy. And he was also around 17. Talking about sexual things. And he said when he was younger, he was also into older guys. Right, why are you putting this on TikTok? This is a fucking family-friendly social media. What is going on with it? Everyone called him a paedophile or a nonce in British term. Um, there was also this video, which I'd like to show you. I'm gay though, mate. So how can I be a nonce if I'm gay? You can't be gay and a nonce at the same time. You can only be one or the other. You can't be gay and a nonce. You can't. <laughs> he claims... You cannot be a paedophile if you're gay. But here's the thing. There are young underage boys, Ian, which I'm sure you know, you psychiatric fucker. This is messed up. Like, he chats some stupid ass shit. Uh, like, the logic, oh, I'm not a nonce because I'm gay. If you're gay... That still means you can be a nonce. Where's the logic? To me, it sounds like he's making an excuse, trying to say all these things, because he knows deep down inside, he is. He's an absolute arsehole. He does all these live streams as well. Um, dissing people, uh, fucking smoking, and he's drinking, and he thinks he's the shit. Poor man, he, he phoned up Domino's, and Domino's person said, could you come down? I think he lives in a flat. Domino's person said, can you come down and get your pizza? This big old bastard said, no, no. And he called the manager and he got that man sacked. 
he got that man who was probably getting around £9 an hour delivering pizzas and he got him sacked. When Ian Moore, you're fucking well off. He is well off and you think, no, he's not. Look at the state of him. Yeah, I know what you mean, but he has got money. He does. Uh, he, he says he gets uh, money from TikTok, which he does. I think he's got over a million followers. Over a million followers. Uh, he gets money from YouTube. And... He works for an IT company, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know why they employ him either. Let's carry on with it. Ian does have his own merch. And you could think, what could it be? It could be a slogan. Could it be a cool print? A nice logo. It's his face with a crown on it. And he goes on about this all the time about his merch. No one gives a shit. No one wants your face on their t-shirt. He's like... Oh yeah, I'm I'm a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur, I have my own merch. If I wanted my own merch, I fucking could. So you're not a businessman, Ian, you're a knob. There's also been some footage of him, very small, I don't know what it's about really, I don't know the context behind it, of him with this other guy talking to the police, and people say it is because he was talking to an underage child, and that they was dealing with it then. I don't know, not my words. Their words. The reason why he doesn't work at Sainsbury's anymore, apparently, is because they fired him out of his job. So, I mean, if that's not serious and says, and gives, well, gives evidence that he's definitely on not the right path, nothing else will. Again, as I said, he's always slaughtering all his audience, although that is what makes the pay come in. And I think videos like the ones I'm creating, obviously not me, but other people that have done videos of him are still giving him clout, and he's feeding off it, and this is giving him views. But this was an idea for me, so I could create a YouTube video off him, so you can see what a scumbag he is, and what a strange, strange man he has become, and always will be. All the videos make no sense, um... Oh my god, like, listen to this stupid ass shit as well, like, oh my god. Okay, this is a shout out, this is the very last one. Hi Ian, please give a shout out to my friend Johnny, who recently gave, came out as a sm and he overcame his addiction to sniffing the ashes of dead children. But when he overcame his, this addiction, he unfortunately picked up a new one. He now picks the sweet corn and nuts out of his shit and shoves them into his urethia. I don't even want to begin, man. I don't even want to begin talking about what was said. He's so gullible. Like, something about picking the corn out of the poo and stuffing it in your eyeball down there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty odd, isn't it? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, Again, as I said, please go check out the last video. We'd much appreciate if you give that a like. And, yeah, I hope you're all doing good in lockdown. Peace out and another video coming your way soon.